So when I say energy vampire, what do you think of? I think of super cheesy Twilight parodies. That's that's what I think of. I think of very goth, but not in the cool way, in the you don't look very good doing goth way. Um, people have certain expectations when you simply use the word vampire, whether there's energy in front of it or not. The idea of the vampire is that they take and take and take and take and take, obviously killing the victim or whatever. There is a victim in the idea of vampire. Um, and it's interesting because the idea of an energy vampire, let's call it a thief instead. So for this, I'm going to return, I'm going to refer to the energy thief, okay? Because that's probably a little more appropriate. Now I want you to think about everybody that you know that does Reiki, does massage, uh, does anything with healing or energy or uh, uses um, the, the violet flame, the images of light specifically, whether it's to deal with chakras, aligning and healing, anything that has to do with energy, which is everything. Well, the idea of an energy thief is the idea that someone can take your energy without your consent, okay? So when we go to a healing, whether it's a Reiki healing or another kind of healing, when we go to um, a gong bath, whether we go to a massage, um, when we do these things, we are going of our own volition, we're paying the person to do it for us, or we're trading, depending on if it's a student, you know, or a master. Um, we are giving our permission to have our energies altered. So we are willingly, willingly, blah, 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 willingly giving our permission to the practitioner to do whatever it is they do and hope that they do it right, right? Um, the energy thief, however, supposedly has this magic power to suck all this stuff away from you without your permission. Um, I, I, I feel like that's a myth to scare us into to using our shielding better, essentially. Um, I am here to inform you that anyone that manipulates energy is perfectly capable of taking it. Whether it's pain, good stuff, bad stuff, whatever, if you can manipulate energy, especially in the healing arts, you are perfectly capable of being an energy thief. Uh, obviously, most of us are taught that we don't do work of any kind spiritually without permission. Um, that's why I, uh, I don't like the mediums on TV that walk up to people and are like, hey, did your father die? He said this, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's, that's a douche move, dude. Douche move. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I understand that there are people that do it. I don't. So the idea of the energy thief is that they can come near to you and take, like that's what I see, like them sticking a straw into Capri Sun package and being like, and it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks until there's nothing left, right? That's what I mentally perceive when people talk about energy thieves, okay? Um, and I prefer the term thief because vampire the blood, just blah, blah, blah. No, not my thing. Um, so energy thief. However, that doesn't really happen. You may have someone come in and bring the vibrations of the room down because they're a douchebag or they're angry or they're hurting and sad. Um, that's different. That's not an energy thief. That's someone kind of just pulling the entire room down, like black hole, you know? But if you're shielded, it shouldn't bother you. You'll take notice of it and like, ah, oh, it sucks to be them. Hey, let's go have coffee over there. Um, the idea that it is indeed a thief is a false one because I can't imagine you wouldn't be paying enough attention to be like, oh, I feel bright and happy and perky. And then all of a sudden you're like, I need a nap. That shift, eh, 
all of us would notice that it usually hits about two o'clock for me and I'm like, oh, I just, I need caffeine. However, I know that's a natural rhythm process, caffeinate, caffeinate. However, the idea that energy thief can come along and just be like, and then walk away with all your happy, bouncy energy and you're just like, that doesn't make sense. Anyone that gives energy can take energy. Duh. Duh. Balance. Balance, people. Balance. So every single one of us that uses energy, we are potentially energy thieves. However, that doesn't happen very often. We practice giving way, way more than we practice taking. I think that's something that we absolutely should practice, though. I really, really, truly believe that. Not because we're a thief, but because we have to find balance in ourselves. Okay, and if we practice giving healing, giving healing, giving healing, well, if you're not careful, and beginners do this a lot, you drain yourself because you're not pulling your energy from the different, the right sources and replenishing yourself naturally. You're giving yours instead of becoming a channel for things to flow through you. Very common, super common. So in a way, you're actually draining yourself, your, your own energy thief, giving your healing to other people. Don't want that we don't want that i like the idea of calling it a thief because we would kind of be like you can't do that well of course you can't do that it's not right i imagine there are people that do it i don't think that people that are doing it necessarily do it intentionally i think a lot of us when we pull things in order to recharge them through ourselves transmutate them and spit them back out as something good. Sometimes we take more than we should, especially people that are learning how to transmutate. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, sometimes we mess up and that's okay. Just try not to drain anybody dry. Bad vampire, bad vampire. <laughs> it's, it, it's pretty hard to do that, especially without somebody noticing. I mean, if somebody passes out when you're next to them, uh, yeah, pay attention, pay attention. <laughs> I've, I've never seen that happen, so I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Um, the whole energy passing back and forth thing, a lot of people, a lot of ghost hunters, paranormal investigators, whatever you want to call them, um, volunteer as tributes, as it were, uh, for energy thieves in order to fuel uh, ghosts on the other tr side trying to make contact. Um, and while that is a very, it's perceived as a noble thing, it's stupid. It's stupid, stupid, stupid. They're like, here, take my energy so that we may communicate. No, 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 no. You just gave whoever permission to steal your energy. That's that's not cool in my book at all, at all. Um, but who am I? Who am I? Mm -hmm. yeah, don't do that, people. Stop doing that. Now it's different if, if you're in a seance and you know that it's your aunt coming through and like she just like, it's when you need a medium instead of volunteering yourself, okay? Look for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? Um, yeah, don't volunteer to do that. A lot of us have more energy than we think. <sighs> and it takes us a while to replenish. It does. It's okay, but it does. So common sense. Please use common sense. I feel like I should disclaim that. Please use common sense constantly, consistently. Pray and use common sense consistently all the time. All the time. <sighs> energy thief. So we as humans absolutely have the potential to give and take energy at will through practice. When you're good at it, you're good at it. Um, a lot of us are able to do it without realizing we're doing it. And we have to be cautious about that especially when we're learning to transmutate, okay? Um, that is it, and it, I consider that an advanced skill, very much so. Um, and I certainly recommend you find a teacher to help you with that. Uh, it really, really save you some time and a whole lot of effort trying to figure everything out if you have somebody to help you out, okay? Uh, the, energy th the idea of the energy thief is so silly because we are all potential energy thieves. Every single one of us, anyone that's ever done a healing is a potential energy thief. But we aren't because we aren't thieves. So the people that are normally able to do this stuff are on the good side, not the bad side. Also, don't volunteer yourself as a tribute for dead people or, you know, demons or paranormal, whatever the heck is 
trying to get a hold of you when you're paranormal investigating. Common sense, yay! Uh, <laughs> we're so running long. I meant this to be like a few minutes, but if you have any questions, you know the drill. Uh, email me, Facebook me, message me. Um, holler if you have anything else you'd like to talk about. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.